Hey, I am John Barker, and in today's episode of Here to Record, Show and Tell, I want to take you through the uh, the few different ways that you can control your ATEM production switcher with an iPad. Now, there are a few out there that um, I won't get to today, but uh, these are sort of the main core ways to get you started. Um, all of these things will be uh, inexpensive, but um, and there are more expensive ways to do it too uh, on the iPad, but uh, we'll get to all that good stuff. So let's get started. On this table here, I have my iPad and um, my ATEM switcher is just sitting off screen. You don't really need to see that, but I also have the um, ATEM software control here running on the laptop. So you can see uh, when I press buttons on the iPad, um, what happens? So basically the first of the three apps that we're gonna take a look at is called uh, Strata View. This is a uh, free app from Strata. Strata View is free and it does kind of what you would imagine it would do. If I press the buttons on the um, on the iPad, nothing happens obviously because Strata View is just for viewing purposes. Um, if I head over to my computer and I change the source or the preview over there, you can see on the iPad that um, it's updating. One thing you'll notice right away is that I have personally configured my ATEM software control to put everything in my own special order. And you can see there on the iPad version that that's not necessarily looking the same. So if you've left your switcher as it was with all the, in my case, eight inputs in the exact same order, then things would look a lot better. But for me, I move things around and the Strata View app isn't just picking those things up. So that's a look at Strata View. It doesn't really do much other than lets you see what's, um, what's on program, what's on preview. Let's take a look at the next app, Strata Lite. So in this case, it is a paid app. Um, in the settings, you just use that to um, do a few things. One of them being that you want to set up the IP address of your switcher at the top, and you can use that to, uh, to type it in. And then you can also use these little button um, to input channel mapping. So like I said in the View app, you can't change the way things look, but in this one you can. So in my case, I want to set it up for button one would be two, then five, then seven, six. This will differ from your own settings, but for me, that's what I want. So now if you compare the, uh, the preview row on the ATEM software control on my computer to the iPad version, you can see that close, wide, screen, and GoPro are in the same order there. And what's cool about the, uh, the light version here is that I can actually tap through these uh, preview inputs and these program inputs and that is updated on the uh, on the computer and it's sending those signals out to my ATEM switcher which is also switching in the background to the to the uh, selected inputs. So that's what it does. You can also use the set up the colors and uh, you can set up the uh, hit the cut button and it'll cut between those colors. I can just tap around here. I can hit the auto and that'll do an auto fade. And I can also grab that little T-bar and do my own slow auto fade, which is really great. So that kind of covers the, uh, the entirety of um, the Strata Lite app. It's around $10-ish. You might find that for your own, uh, in your own app store. And um, you can just buy it and use it as it is. Reconfigure the buttons to what way you want them to go. And then um, use it as an actual switching panel. You know, you can sit there beside your uh, production switcher and actually use it to tap through. Um, and it works, it works well. Uh, over the years, they've done a lot of stability um, improvement and um, I, I've used it a little bit, but I'm gonna come on to the main thing that I use. Um, but when I've used it, it's worked, it's worked great for me. So let's head on to the main thing that I use for my switching, head out of Strata and take a look at Touch OSC. Now Touch OSC is technically not in any way, you know, affiliated with uh, the, the proper Blackmagic uh, ATEM stuff. Unlike the Strata, which has been designed specifically for ATEM switchers, Touch OSC is more of a, well, an OSC um, platform to build your own little uh, controller and your own little interface to control um, things that are on your network. So in this case, Touch OSC, I've set up this layout exactly as you see here. I've built that on the computer. Now for a really, uh, a little more in-depth look at Touch OSC and ATEM OSC and all that stuff, you can check out my video up here, which goes into details about that. Um, I talk about how to build out your own, uh, your own little layout and how to use ATEM OSC, which is another program, um, for all this stuff to talk together. So um, 
Unlike the previous two apps, which talk directly to your switcher over the network, TouchOSC talks to uh, an application on your Mac called ATEMOSC, and that Mac, that Mac application talks to your ATEM. So it's a little more, not confusing, but uh, you have to have a few extra little pieces in, along the way. But I think that the, uh, the flexibility for layout design and stuff like that with TouchOSC makes all that worthwhile. So let's take a look at that um, now. In here you can see, like I said, that I've built this little layout and it can look whatever way you want. I've got two rows at the bottom, which are simple uh, toggle buttons, not toggle buttons, just normal buttons, which are just simple buttons. And that will change my uh, preview. And then I have a row at the top, which is my program. I've just set up four for now, just to make this uh, sample video. I also have this cut, this auto, and a nice little T-bar that I can grab and move at my own pace. Um, so if I wanted to fade into something and then fade back out again, I can just do that. And you can see there that it's sending all these signals um, over the network to my ATEM and it's switching my ATEM in the background, which is really great. Um, what's also cool about this is that you can set up other pages of layout. So at the top here, I can click or tap just on this little other page and you can see that some things disappeared there. So what I thought I would do just for this demonstration is show a version of um, the interface without any of the switching capabilities. So let's say you had somebody else on another iPad or you give them an iPad and uh, they are running PTZ cameras and they want to switch between the, uh, the preview inputs. Let's just say that's an example. You've got an assistant, you've got someone else who wants to do a specific job. You don't want to give them ability to cut your actual program, um, but you might let them flick through the preview inputs just so they can see what's on there. And then you can save the cut button for yourself. So in this second little page here, I've created these just these four cameras and you can see on the uh, ATEM software control that as I flick through each of these, it's updated on that software control. So in this page, if I was to delete, delete this first page and only leave this second page, this person who's sitting here at this uh, control desk, all they could do is switch between the cameras. Now another use for this could be that you could have a page um, that just controls the auxiliary outputs of your ATEM, which would be really cool. So you have all of the uh, potential auxiliaries, let's say you have three on your ATEM, and then you can choose what, uh, what you want to send at that auxiliary. Also a good uh, use case. But in my case, I thought I would just show sort of a, an assistant um, who's sitting beside you, but you don't want them to cut the, the program. So there you go, that's the double page thing. Again, just check out my video for a more in-depth look at Touch OSC and how that works with your ATEM. But for me, I think this, and it's a free option as well, all these programs for Touch OSC, ATEM OSC, they're all free. You can find links to all this stuff in the blog post below, um, and you can use that to control your ATEM. Let me know if you use anything else to control your ATEM with an iPad. I'd love to hear, uh, I'd love to hear what you use. I use a mixture of eight or touch OSC, but I also use a MIDI controller. You can check out a video on that too. And they all kind of talk to each other and uh, you can press actual physical buttons on a MIDI controller. And that sends signals through the network and uh, to your ATEM where you can switch that way instead. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.